Good evening, everybody. Welcome to episode 26, The Game. Um, I am Vice Admiral J.L. Galloway, Fleet 31 Commanding Officer, one of your hosts, and here's my co-host, Rear Admiral Jenny Hay, our Deputy Fleet Commander. Howdy, howdy. And then we also have our Community Manager, Scott Sterling, joining Hi, us guys. tonight, Captain Scott Sterling, and of course, Cadet Kaylee, Hi, who guys. will be muted when she's um, not speaking because we still have some technical issues on her side. No, it's just the, the cleaning crew in the background. Yes, it's cleaning, cleaning crew. crew in the background? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen my place? <laughs> I mean, it's perfectly spotless and, and really clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. But she's that. she's outside, you know, so they're uh, vacuuming up the grass. Yeah, that's exactly right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's your house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that house looks spotless. Like, no wonder her cleaning crew's always there. Look how spotless it is. I know, right? Mm -hmm. So, guys, um, tonight we already made it a, an agreement that we were not going to talk politics or religion or any politics tonight, so we're just going to say that ahead of time, so please don't ask us any questions like that, because if you do, we'll just ignore them. You know, this is going to be a fun, free night. We're going to, we have topics that we want to discuss, and it's all related to um, our episode for last week, which is the game. Dad. Yes, Kaylee. Yes, Kaylee. There's someone watching us on YouTube. Is her name Kaylee? No, see, literally see. My phone's off. My computer doesn't have anything. Oh, never mind. There's no one watching us on YouTube then. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Kaylee. Hey, Kaylee. Wow. Wow. Way to get called out. <laughs> oh, and I also like roasting people on this. So, yeah. Kaylee. Cody. Holy. Oh, Holy. Oh, Holy. I like this comment. By a nicer dorm when I was in the academy. <laughs> I, I know, right? right? How, how, Cadet Kaylee, how did you get a nice dorm like that? No, I just moved away from your house. Oh, totally. Wow. Great. So it worked. How she, how she afford a house like that? Florida. What's she doing for? How can she afford? Oh, a oh, house. Okay. My allergies, my nose is all stuffed up, so I'm all kind of oh, like furry. nasally, oh. and I have a headache, but it's go it's going away. Me too, Jenny. Me too. Did you it's... get any sleep? I did. You managed to get some sleep because I know you got work. Addy, Addy. Oh yeah, Addy. I had some rants. I had some rants for our tangents later today. I'll tell you some stories. About work. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it uh, I, I definitely talked about the. T to tomato story, I definitely can tell people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So should we just get into our first topic, which is just basically what we did talk about anyways. What were we, I decided to rename it Crew Reports. What have we been up to? Who wants to go first? Kaylee? <laughs> what have I been up to? Yeah, we're the past yeah, we're the Ooh, that's loud. School, right? Is that what you've been doing? <laughs> I've been doing school. I've been playing Roblox. I've been playing Minecraft. I've been playing Among Us. I've been playing Among Us and Roblox. That's and you've been making TikTok videos. Yes. Yes, she has. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jenny, what have you been up to this week? Uh, work, 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 and work is is that something that we can talk about work <laughs> uh also getting ready for something we'll talk about later um uh mostly working had some family things going on last weekend uh, last week so uh i had to take care of some family situations let's just say going to a funeral during a pandemic is um something you don't want to do because it's it's very um Interesting, I should say. Okay. Well, you also had that uh the uh the holiday event game that you guys were playing. You guys made it. Oh, we did. We, yeah, we play event. Among Us. We play it on yeah. Halloween night. Mm -hmm. Had a few trick or treaters. Oh. Not much. Coley, please. Not so much at once. <laughs> 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 you just, you just way too much there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too much. Please stop. <laughs> no, Kaylee, we're not that mean. No. <laughs> All 
All right, uh, to Coley. <laughs> Coley's a great man. Yeah. Should I go next, or do you want to go next, Scott? I'll go. I mean, for me, okay. it's just been been work, and we've got a major project coming up around the house, so getting ready for that. Mm. That's actually starting tomorrow, I think, hopefully. So see how that goes. For me, uh, I've just been mainly working, getting the new site up and running, training people, watching how that's been going, and then, oh, getting trained myself because it's time for my recertification we were, we were talking about. That's oh, not yeah. all. That's so much, so fun. much fun. Oh, I haven't got to the anything else yet, Kaylee. That's so much fun going in on a holiday without pay to take a state certification test in another state. Yay! That, <laughs> that, wait, I knew I just it just hit me. You're taking a state certification in a different state. I just I I knew you were going out of state to take the test, but I didn't realize it. I probably just didn't go in my mind. That you're taking a state certified <laughs> test in a different state. <laughs> yeah. Because um, okay. what happens is the, the instructors for the DPSST test um, it happens to be stationed in Vancouver that could administer the test. And it's just kind of, I mean, you can do that. It's just kind of weird that you go to a different state to oh, take a, a state think, test. Think that's mm -hmm. weird. When you're filling out the temporary work permit because my, my cert certification expires on the 7th. So I won't get a new card before the seventh. So I had to get a temporary permit to continue working. Because of that, it says um, where you got issued in the state of Washington in the county of Clark for an Oregon <laughs> <laughs> certification test. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. A Addie was saying hide and seek among us was fun on Halloween night. It was. Uh, it was. For those, uh. who, for those who may not know what hide and seek is. You want to tell them what it is, Jenny? We're going to go on a side <laughs> tangent. I want to oh, tell I thought we were talk about Bungus later, but yeah. Okay. Hide and Seek is basically where you know who the imposter is, and the imposter has limited vision, but the crewmate has max, crewmates have max vision. And you're trying to run around, do your task, but not get killed by the imposter. Mm -hmm. And when you finish your task, you go and hide somewhere. Yeah, so whenever... You so if the crew finishes their task first and they still win, if the imposter kills you, then they win. I mean, I I've played with Kaylee and some of the others, and like some of the scouts and stuff like that. And oh, those guys are vicious. Yes, Kaylee. Oh, and you should probably not play with me because I've beaten a lot of people in the hide and seek this. <laughs> oh, it's down. Let's go. It's down. It's down. After after tonight, we'll go. Let's go. Okay, when I'm an imposter, tonight. I will kill all of you. Oh. Wow. Wow. Big <laughs> words, Kaylee. Big words. <laughs> Don't make a mistake. <laughs> Coley, was that intentional? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's Coley for you. But no, playing hide and seek among us. I haven't heard Jenny laugh that <laughs> much. Oh, in you a should long hear us. Time. So I mean, I know, but on Mondays and two, on Sundays and Mondays, I had two different groups. I play uh, board games online, which I know sounds silly, and video games. And uh, man, it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. I'm laughing my butt off. Yeah, the one part you go no, 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 and then you start laughing. And look at Coley's response. Game on. Yeah. <laughs> Game on. No, I have Jenny. a. I just yes, say it. When we're playing normal matches, I always know you're imposter because of your sound of the sound of your voice. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Okay. So make sure you tell the rest of us, Kaylee, so we know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this kind of, kind of plug us into our first topic of the night. Video game addictions, which also will lead us into tonight's episode. You know, mm, is I wonder, is Among Us becoming a video game addiction for all of us here? I'm pretty sure it is. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. everybody who I've talked to goes, have you played Among Us? Have you played Among Us? You should play Among Us. Just like or, the episode we're going to talk about. Or Jenny's like, Jay, you want to play Among Us? Yep. Me all the time. Do you want to play Among Us? And the problem is, you got to find people to play with because there is still some hackery. Not, I don't want to say hacking. Okay, hacking, but they can't like hack your computer, like your system. But they can hack the game. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to go to to go play with random strangers because they hack the game. 
Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Don't take that away. <laughs> stabby, stabby. <laughs> All right, Baz. She knows who Baz is. But we oh, know, know who Baz, Baz is. is. Oh, yeah. Baz is awesome. <laughs> oh, that's right. You started watching it. You started joining us. Oh, no, I knew Baz from like. Oh, my goodness. That's way yeah. too much. That's way too much. All right, Kaylee. Last time, last time she left, I heard is when I suggested she could do a long distance relationship. <laughs> How's that working out for you, Jenny? Great. <laughs> Polly is actually uh, one of the first people that we talked to about huh. about Scott and I um, and our relationship. I mean, hey, we know you, Coley before we start dating. So mm -hmm. I do want to say that at 15 minutes and 40 seconds, Scott should put a ring on it. Hey, that's a new record for me. <laughs> Scott, put a ring on it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, we're not going to give him too much of a hard time. But I had to slip it in there. Uh -huh. Thank you, Coley, for setting that up. <laughs> oh, Coley's been on to us, too. Oh, I'll get him back. <laughs> oh, I was like, Scott's like, I'll remember this. Uh -huh. Is Coley going on the cruise? No. No, nothing I know of. Mm -hmm. He should. Mm -hmm. He needs a vacation, Coley. Mm -hmm. Coley, there's still limited um, cabins available. You should take you and your wife. Let the kids go home, stay at home, and have a little getaway from the kids. I know, right? You want to know what the kids do when the parents are at home? What do the kids do? Because apparently we've never been kids. <laughs> <laughs> but in our generation. Oh, so, so, so it's really different. Okay, I better take notes. Yeah. Hang, on, hang on, hang on. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> So you know all the food in the kitchen? All food in the kitchen, yeah. <laughs> They'll search through all of it and misplace any everything. Well, that just sounds rude. That's like that sounds like any other day <laughs> in a right. house. No, but then they'll eat all of the food. Maybe they'll do Wait. the dishes. <gasps> no, they don't. Oh. You might have a heart attack if they do the dishes. I know, right? And take the trash out. Oh, no, Daniel does that every single day, kind of. Wow. Uh, Jenny, do you want this? Yes. Kaylee, please get that off my screen. Yes, I gave <laughs> it to Jenny. <laughs> we'll get into that topic here in a minute. <laughs> oh, Jenny's chocolate edition? No. It's not Jenny's chocolate edition. So, yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a topic. Yeah, it's a topic. She's just yeah, ahead. Go ahead and meet your mic, sweetheart. Thank you. I'm not so, sweet. I'm sour. Fine, sour heart. <laughs> Doesn't sound the same, Kaylee. All right, so no, video game addictions. I was just kind of teasing into that one. So it's going to make it a light topic to go actually into our first episode. So i wouldn't say that among us is like one of those games that that you get overly obsessed with it's a fun easy game to play kind of like minecraft is doesn't mm -hmm. require a lot of skills to play it um just a lot of memorizations like once you start knowing where the map is and you start knowing your objectives it ooh, gets easier and ooh. gets faster go ahead they are going they're about to release a, a fourth map oh man no i haven't with new tasks the first three <laughs> new tasks and... the, the first three and yeah, you suck. You and suck as a bigger. ghost and a player. Wow, Kaylee. And now they have. A, I have to do your task for you. And now I have. Um. Now they have a. Um. Uh, what do you call that? I can never say the right word. Anonymous. Um. Uh, voting. Oh, you can do anonymous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so people won't vote you off because they get pissed because you vote them. <laughs> yeah. So uh, all the votes are now gray out. So. What? I what? actually <laughs> saw some people. I actually saw a video where all the video, all the people are grayed out, and yeah, I saw people play like that, and they wow. were also little tiny people. Oh, okay. So the episode, of the game. Did everybody watch it this week? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I may have watched it right before we went on the air. Me? No. What are you talking about? I didn't do that. I didn't. I did just didn't watch it about an hour ago. Am I yeah. the one that was good here and watched it Monday night? I didn't watch it at all. <laughs> yes, God, I think you were. I was going to do it last night at work, but then I got into my uh, cheeky Hallmark movies. Praise yeah, I God. I a good Hallmark movie. I, I want to clarify that because before we came on the air, I was telling Jenny that 
my wife was watching a god awful Hallmark movie. I do like Hallmark movies, just not that one I was watching. <laughs> Scott, <laughs> we must yes. praise you now because you must were what? actually good. You would sit and actually watch it. Hey, we all watched it. We're Jenny on and I were Monday. Good. We did it today. And I'm sorry, Jenny. Coley says it sounds like a game addiction to me. <laughs> Coley, you need to play. It's free. Hey, whoever's doing that, stop doing that. <laughs> I might have it memorized. <laughs> I'm trying to put it up. Ashley oh, Judd is one of the biggest guests. Yes, she is. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is so sad she doesn't do conventions or um or cruises. Yeah. I think she'd be fun to have at a convention or a cruise. Mm-hmm. I want that, Kaylee. <laughs> Bless, Bless you, Jenny. Thank you. No, so uh, no, you cannot yeah, have it. So the first, yeah, have fun eating coconut then. <laughs> so the first, um, the first part of the episode obviously had to do with, um, you know, Riker on, uh, Riker, yeah, Riza. Riker on Riza, which, you know, it would have been nice to maybe see a little more of Riza. Yeah, not the maybe bedroom could, of a. Yeah. Of a worker, yeah, you know, and so the thing I wonder is, was she part of the the elite? And I guess she was, right? Because um, she because mm -hmm. she she looked like she was from the same race, mm -hmm. but obviously she was there to dupe Riker. I wish she would have gave a little more backstory into that. Well, and here's a here's the thing with Riker at that time: did he have the big Horgon or the little one with him? <laughs> And he didn't take Troy with him, but yeah, but yeah, I do want to say in that episode, he did. Um, he was very flirtatious with Troy. Oh yeah, very much so. Mm -hmm. Which was a little unusual. I mean, I don't know where the the writers are going with this. Maybe it's just one of those bad writing choices because they're supposed to be friends. Why are they having like this? In one episode, they're really flirtatious. The next episode, they're not. It's more you know professional between them. So, you know, I mean, it's kind of confusing in that sense, but I guess we're not supposed to overlook it, right? Or over no. it. I think it was just a uh, foreshadowing for what's actually going to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of my employees is calling me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> you want to you talk about this for a minute and then I'll be right back? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we got it. Okay. The go. many duties of being a boss. I know, right? <laughs> hey, at least, I, at least I clean my waffle maker. You yes, yeah, but we're, we're going to we're, we're too good. That'd be a tangent. Okay. So yeah, y'all y'all do know that we have a little group chat that we tend to talk about a lot during the day. So so we have a little side stories and tangents. But yeah, but back to game. Yeah, I think it was just a foreshadowing into um what the whole story really about was. You know him them getting him addicted to it so he can go to the ship and start talking about or start getting him addicted to it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what how Jay was going to go with this, so... <laughs> no, no, neither. <laughs> um, oh. oh, you can... You know how... Okay. It's like, he can disappear. I think he heard his name and thought we were talking to him. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... <laughs> ah, I love my... My avatar. Anyway, sorry. My AED is kicking in strong. So you then they get to the ship. And so he tries to get um, Jordy to get on there because they're doing that um, what was that? Scientific research at some like They were like, going to it was to map a sector I think or a nebula, something like that. Yeah, it was map they something. Had, they had five science teams on board. It was like something mm -hmm. that was brand new you know, or newly discovered yeah. rather. So I thought that was interesting. Um, so they get on the ship, you know, and they're and they're, they're trying to show the game. And, if, and like I said, it felt so much like Among Us because, like, one player plays it, and then somebody asks you if you have played it. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> yes, guys. Sorry. Comment popped Oops, up. Sorry, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to yes. get get up to play Among Us. <laughs> yes, yes, it's addicting, Coley. You should play it. It's free on your phone. It's five dollars on Steam. You know what we need to do? We need to get we need to get Coley one of the uh, headsets that they were wearing during the game. Yes. 
Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Welcome hey. back. And you should definitely play Among Us. It's fun. Who's talking I'm going to play, gonna play uh, musical videos. One moment. She means she's going to move us around. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't figure out why Kaylee and then Scott are both that way because. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. All of you guys are signed in as admin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wants me to be in front of Scott. Or behind or under me. It's because we're all lovebirds and we have to be on top of each other. And they want me and, <laughs> me and Dad. Me and hmm? I said, me okay. And, and when I said it, it came out wrong. I mean, <laughs> it's because we're, ma we're wearing matching shirts, so we have to yeah. stay together <laughs> in our category. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee's laughing so hard. <laughs> you're the one who thought about it. I was not trying to go you're that the way. One that said it. It was not me. You don't. But you're the ones who who whose mind went to the gutter. What? You're gonna yeah. blame this on me? Yes. When in doubt, always blame the vice admiral. I blame it on Scott. <laughs> Scott, last I checked, you, you wear a fleet admiral pip on your uniform. <laughs> <laughs> This is true. <laughs> he likes to self-promote himself. I know, right? All right, my new addiction is Avenger game. What is the Avenger game? <laughs> Gotta wait. Carly, I think he's having problems with his keyboard. Or are you just having fun with it? Having fun at our expense. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Jason's on? Blake yeah. gave that rule? What do you mean, Jason? He means Blame it's always Jay. Jay's fault. Yep. Oh, it's always my fault. Oh, here's your lollipop. Or that's sick. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just want this. See, I have a sweet daughter. I gave you that. I know. That's why I said I have a sweet daughter. Yeah, we'll get into that that thing. So anyway, so back to talking about how Wait, we are? after the game. Uh, I was trying mm -hmm. to do you, but you, you do it so much better than I do. So they get on the ship, mm -hmm. and um, oh look, look who who's joining us, Russell. Hey, Thank Russell, you for joining us tonight. And yes, it has been a long time. We should invite him on. We should. If Russell, if you want to come on, just let us know. We'll send you uh, the code. Wait, Russell. What about me? Do you know who I am? Does anybody know who you are, Kaylee? But Russell, no, it's Jenny. Hey, what the heck? It's the other Did way you just around. say it to me? I said that you're a lo wonderful, sweet, loving young girl. I lo I love giving. I love when I uh -huh. have new people who know my last name. They go, "Hey, Jenny." Go, no, it's Jenny. Hey, or I go, "That's my." Or I go, "Hey," and they go, "That's my last name." Don't wear it out. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun having that last name. All right, he said, "Sure." Did one of us want to send him an invite? Uh, sure. I will Okay. click this button that says invite and copy the clipboard. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. That's sophisticated. <laughs> and then I have to search for his his name in my my Facebook. And this this play by play is brought to you by the center seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have two Russells in my friends group. Uh, Coley, are you trying to get me in trouble tonight? <laughs> well, Coley's a, a veteran nice too. I don't know if you know that, but he's a veteran too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Did you send the invite out? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, don't call me sir. I'm Jay. I am Southern. I always uh -huh. say sir and ma'am. I think it's time for me to dye my hair. She thinks I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Southern. Hey, hey, I'm younger than you. She calls me old, so. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, fart. So I call him. Wow. Anyways, back <laughs> anyway. to the game episode. <laughs> yeah, because I do apologize. I had to go for a minute to handle it's, a mini crisis. It's, <laughs> oh, you're fine. It's, it's what bosses do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I have another story about bosses and 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 calling. That's a fun story too. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Work in hotels, you get some great stories, just FYI. See? Yeah, I believe that. Mm -hmm. I do honestly believe that. 
But uh, no, going back to the game, one of my favorite yeah. scenes during that episode is when Wesley gets on the elevator and uh, the nurse, for, forget what her name is. She's the assistant to Crushers on there. And she goes, hey, what's your, what level are you? And Wesley's like level 10. She's like, I'm level 47. <laughs> 47. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about uh, the nurse Agawa? Yes, I got one. Yes. I, can, I can never remember what her last name is. Russell, how's it going? Hey, Russell. Pretty good. Give me a second here. I got to sure. turn off the Facebook real quick. There we go. That's better. Okay. You don't want the lovely echoey? Or the, the 30 uh, Russell, 10 second echo? Uh, delay, whatever. Yeah, Kayla. Like, yeah. Um, why don't you have a name? Yeah. I do. It's up there. He yeah, looked... he he's fancy. Oh. He th- uh, <laughs> SFI is fancy. Well, yeah. I just use OBS for everything anymore. So, oh. I know. Why yeah. we got to get you on? Yeah, we were gonna uh, borrow your talents one of these days. That's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny's right. a member. Wow, Jenny! <laughs> wow. You are too, if I recall, Jay. <laughs> I did. I am. Yes, I am. I didn't know. Okay. I I didn't say it. That's all I'm gonna say, Jenny. I didn't say it either. No, I'm talking about. Well, what Chloe it's true. I do love O farts because you know Scott is an O fart. Hey, <laughs> just dig the knife a little deeper, right? <laughs> right. My dad's an old fart too. She's in the episode Lower Deck. Who? Oh, she? Oh, oh, yes. that's Gala that's is. Or... oh, is she? Mm-hmm. Oh, Gala's in the episode. Yes. Did I miss that? Yeah, I, I must have missed it too. Wow. I'm trying to remember what what episode, Coley. By it's way, actually I called know. Lower Deck or Lower Decks, something like oh. that. Oh, oh, the episode oh. Lower Decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought mm-hmm. I thought it talked about the cartoon. No, <laughs> no, no, it's the TNG episode. I was like, yeah, I knew that she's in TNG have... episode. That's when she gets engaged, or mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, right, engaged, yeah. or mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, Lower Deck, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it was the one where they they had all the ensigns trying to get promoted. The one that came up to Riker saying he was Canadian, just like him, and then Riker, you know, made him put his foot in his mouth. And... <laughs> Great times. Yeah, the game though. Oh my god, that is one of the most cringeworthy episodes I can recall. <laughs> I actually enjoyed it. It was uh... okay, not I, like the best Russell. episode ever, but I enjoy it more than other episodes. Okay. Oh yeah, I mean, I I can watch it where Code of Honor. I I just skip anymore because I'm just I, I don't need to watch that episode anymore. And then Sub Rosa, I haven't watched in like 20 years. So. Oh come on, we could do Code of we could do a back to back marathon. We could do Code of Honor and Threshold. Oh my god! I'd rather watch yeah. Threshold. Yeah. Than Code of Honor. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was totally kidding, guys. We're not like kidding. up not the kidding. long ladder was was better than than uh, Code of Honor. Okay, is it better than Spock's brain? Yes, I think Spock's brain is better. Oh, wow, That's I hate that episode. I just hate that episode because it just the plot was so contrived, and it's obvious like what they were the the writer was kind of saying with it, right beating around the bush, but. Well, yeah. I, I think the reason why this episode wasn't that good for you, and you, like you said, it's cringeworthy, because I was kind of mentioning this before you came on, was the fact that there's so much of the story you're missing. I, I get the fact it's a 45-minute you know series, and they have to tell the story, get through the story, and get to the end of the plot. you know. But on the same token, it felt like there was way too much of the story you're missing. Ah. Hey, Jason. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with you there. Like... Mm-hmm. The the villain pops up like pretty much just like randomly, and then all of a sudden it's like everything's thrown at you. Oh, this is the plot. This is this the, this was what was going on the whole time, and you're just like, whoa, 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 slow down, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my question is, I know it's a ditching game, but of all of the people who are supposed to be smart and you know very smart in that ship, none of them realized that there was something wrong. Why is somebody asking about this game? Well, like. Why did not anybody second question it? And why it had to be the uh, cadet that was second questioning it? The cadet and the ensign. 
Like, uh, wouldn't the doctor worry about it, or some? Wouldn't somebody worry why everybody's so addicted to this game before they got addicted to it? You would think that'd be the case, and in the real world, that would probably be practical. But and the episode was obviously written because Will Wheaton was coming back, and they wanted to make him feel mm-hmm. special. Plus, mm-hmm. they also had Ashley Judd on that episode, so so. To me, I don't know, Russell, feel free to counter-argue this with me, but to me, it felt like the episode was written for the two of them to be the main focus of the story, yeah. which is just yeah, silly and was. idiotic yeah. because, okay, so you're going to have a visiting cadet go around and save the ship. Really? <laughs> well, I mean, it's not any different than what he did in the first season. I mean... <laughs> was that the nanobots when he released the nanobots? Was that the first season? Okay. Yeah. Uh, or I think that was second okay. when he released the nanobots. But yeah, first and second season pretty much was just every so often Wesley saved the day. Like yeah. And, and then there was the one episode where Wesley jacked everything up by pulling all the isolinear um, chips <laughs> out of the engine mm-hmm. the core. <laughs> but I think for I me, one not. other thing for that episode that I really hate. I remember when I was younger, I kind of had a crush on Leffler. And then when he got to kiss her, I was like, oh, that's – I hate Wesley. And then later on in life when I learned that that was both of their first on-screen kisses, that made wow. me even, like, even more angry. Like, <laughs> it's like, no, how can you do that? It's like, what? No, you, you let Wesley? Oh, God. <sighs> Darn you, Will Wheaton. But congratulations, Will Wheaton. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I've had this conversation with Will a number of times. So. <laughs> All right, Kaylee. Leave it up, please. But yeah, the <laughs> other thing that I had was cringeworthy with that episode was just the reaction to Goal was, especially when you saw Gates McFadden doing it, was just like, no, this is. <laughs> this episode's going into another realm here. <laughs> the scene where Wesley and, and Ensign were on the tape on the bed, yeah. you know, like staring at each other, faking it. I'm like, okay, even I can tell that they were faking it. Like, and these people who are trying to, you know, they're basically brainwashed. I guess that's the best term to use. Sees yeah. them. I was like, they don't even look like the other people. They sound like they're like, you know, having. Fun. Pleasuring themselves and yeah, yeah, invasion of body snatchers kind of a feel to them too. Like mm-hmm. I was the, like, the... this is even I can tell it's faking. I can tell it's really bad acting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this whole episode just was bad. Okay, Kaylee. Apparently, according to Coley, Kaylee needs to save the day to keep up. A you know that cadet pride, I guess, or cadet saving the day. <laughs> no, but as yeah, as save the day from Dad's boringness. Thank you, Kaylee. Why don't you go did, monitor YouTube for me? Thanks. Did you notice that Scott moved up, and Russell's where Kaylee was? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, that was interesting because Russell does has no has no admin access to our stream. That's right. Has no what? Admin. admin. Oh yeah, well, I can't move myself around. No, Let me no. Try and fix that. no, they. No, I know the only way no, to do that. No. <laughs> no, okay. No, I'm just saying we we noticed we just I just noticed something. Ah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you can no. move people around, just drag and drop their screens on the admin panel, just whoop, boop boop boop. Yeah. No, but um, as far as the episode, I mean, I guess I, when did the episode come out? Like eighty nine, early ninety, the way um. before. Um, it's pretty old, but mm-hmm. give me a minute. I will magically uh, ninety one. Yeah, ninety one. Yeah, okay. it would have been ninety one. Yeah, ninety one sounds right. So fifth season, I think. Yeah, no, fifth so, yeah, season, episode fifth four. Season. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to remember the nineties because like, we know the nineties they started doing some experimentation with episodes, but this didn't really feel. This like... was basically they had Will Wing was coming back. They. I see what Russell said. Will was coming back. They wanted the episode just about him. Mm-hmm. And so that's what they did. Like, the episode I liked that they did just about him is about um, it's the first duty where he goes, like, they go to uh, the academy. So you get more of a kind of a kind of academy feel to it. 
Mm -hmm. Hi, Jason. Where I said that? I don't know. I know, it just popped up again. I'm like, <laughs> I know, I was like, you clicked on it. <laughs> That's the problem we have for admins. <laughs> Yeah. Fight over who's clicking on what. See, that's right. why I I'm made my me. streams go to their producers. So Kimmy's in charge of AMA, Justin's in charge of After Dark. So it's just Steve and him, or Steve and her. Yeah, I stay, I I stay out of it. So <laughs> makes it a lot easier. So yeah, it does. Well, we we kind of have that, but then we have other people who join us. Riley. Mm hmm. Because Scott's supposed to be our our community manager. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's her. Right. I mean, why did we choose this episode? I'm just curious. Because we want to talk about how Among Us is kind of kind of like the game. Mm. And okay. we also want to talk about extra life too when it gets to that point. Oh, okay, yeah. So but Among yeah, addicting us. games among it. Oh, you, you missed that part, didn't you? Oh, I love that game so much. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's, the, 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 it's the it's I call it the kill Jeremy game. Oh, it... <laughs> because Jeremy, I, I don't know. It picks me as we'll play 10 games. I'll be imposter like four times. <laughs> don't tell it to Jenny. Don't get mad. <laughs> and, then, and then like literally Jeremy, we'll play like 25 games straight. He won't get it once. And then he'll finally get it and he'll kill someone and it'll be right in front of like two people by accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've the among us. <laughs> oh, your mother. Babe, Hi, mom. Your mother. <laughs> Apparently, we need to talk about how, how hot Riker is, if we have time. She, she Depends asks us on the Riker. every year. Depends about the Riker. Every year, every day. That's true. Would Riker, Riker a beard or no beard? Oh, he has to have a beard, but not TNG beard. It's it's post-TNG beard, in all honesty, for me. like I think that he looks way better as a silver fox in, you know, like, First Contact and Beyond than he does, you know, in TNG. Oh, but, come on. I thought he was great in... Um... Oh, lower decks. <laughs> <laughs> he looks really great in lower decks. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sad they missed an opportunity with that episode. It would have been hilarious. What opportunity? Just if they had went, if they had went to the bridge when they went to the bridge of the Titan, and he says target the pack leads or whatever. If in the if he said it and he started out, Anson Kim. Target all weapons on the pack of lead. <laughs> like, it just yeah. would have been amazing. <laughs> just just put what that is... back in canon that he is the perpetual ensign. Wow. <laughs> Why do so many people send us blank <laughs> messages? No, that's way too no, much. No, it's the, they sent it. it. it so when it's blank like that, it's actually an image. Somebody posted a GIF. What? Oh. Oh. Yeah. So StreamYard doesn't display them. Um, that's oh, why yeah. we all have Facebook open on the side with just the chat so that I can yeah, see those but... and respond see, to See, this them. is why we need Russell to come give us some lessons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because here we were just picking on thinking this is some new fad they're trying to start. So, yes, when you comment, please send us blank. <laughs> please send us random. <laughs> <laughs> random blank things. <laughs> yes. That'd be great. <laughs> wow. That's one thing I actually I put. And that's the only thing I'm really waiting for on StreamYard for, for the end. So uh -huh. for the suggestions of what to add, I was like, make it where it will it will show GIF images in the comments. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> people, <laughs> there are people like me who will reply sometimes only with GIF images. Oh, so, yeah. That's what you yeah. do. Yeah. Oh, Jason wants to join us next week. Yeah, or... You can join us this week if he wants. Yeah. Well, somebody has um, Facebook open. Yeah. I See for th I can hear the echo in the background. You hear a slight echo. You can barely hear it, though. Oh, he wants to join us next week? He said, I come on next week. That's what he says. Well, what happened here? If I still have some air queen. Yeah, we're, anyway. doing some, we're doing some weird stuff on our end, too, with... Um, with all of this, like I'm trying to figure out how to do like Hollywood squares, <laughs> <laughs> which is it's interesting because I'm, I'm trying to do it with overlays. So that's true, Carly. We do on Track Radio, but yeah, we yes, can't we on on screen. We can't see it. We just see a blank, but y'all can see it in the chat. So because we're on a different um, screen looking thing. 
Well, if you ma- if you minimize the two screen, oh, Scott has two screens. He can keep an eye on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see it. He is our yeah. CM, so yeah, I'm watching. There goes another one from Jason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Whoa. 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 people. Yeah, I saw oh. that. People are just spamming the chat. Yeah. And YouTube. On okay. YouTube. I'm on YouTube. Good you, Gustavo. All chat. right, time to go block them. Or I just don't understand, like, why, why people why do the that? same thing over again? And they may know Spanish. Is that Spanish or that is Spanish? Anybody know what that well, means? Not that message. This message. <laughs> Put music <laughs> from Matu. Was that yeah. some weird Disney person? I guess. Scott knows all, okay, Scott? <laughs> I don't know. I think <laughs> Russell knows a lot. And <laughs> he can teach a lot. Like I said, I don't mind helping. It's yeah. Alright, how do we block this person? Because that's getting it's in your YouTube. I, know how I don't I, I don't mess with the YouTube, I'm, so I'm gonna block them. Kaylee, it has to be on my YouTube. Yeah. Are you on? Not your oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they're gone. Oh, That's now cute. you got to go do Gustavo Fear Hour, whatever that person um, is. His aren't really bad. He's only posted three things. They're all different. Yeah. He's not really spamming. And he's from Brother Deal. <laughs> See, okay. the cadet saves the day. Because <laughs> she has her dad's passwords. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but so one good. thing that always caught me kind of weird, too, though, about the game, going back to that subject. Mm-hmm. Is, yeah, please. The villain was Katarian. And as far as I know, the Katarians were a Federation race. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> wait, wait just a second here. But so but so is the um Paclids. Wait, the Paclids aren't. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they, they are. are Federation. You can play them in Star Trek Online too. Just because you can play them in Star Trek Star Trek Online is not canon. <laughs> Well, okay, we'll get. And they've only been seen in canon twice: <laughs> Samaritan Snare and Ship yeah. Pieces. I think is what the episode's called. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, they may not have been part of the Federation, but they're still like they're in Federation space. But I don't think they're actually considered developed enough to be even approached by the Federation for a membership. Well, they're space worthy, so yeah. But remember, like the the Argosians. They had fast and light travel, but once they got investigated, they were determined that their their culture was not advanced enough to be approached for for a Starfleet membership for a membership. <laughs> First contact, yes, but not not membership. Yeah, can you imagine that? Oh yes. Great job getting, you know, space tri you know, space flight, you know, warp speed. Good job there. <laughs> uh, sorry, but you can't join us because you're not you're, <laughs> I think it's worse, though, when you think about it. Like, it's even worse. Like, think of it this way. We're like our space program. How do you think the people of the world would feel if we developed this new, awesome technology to travel faster than light and get to these (coughs) planets far away from us so quickly? And then we get outside our solar system and a ship comes up and says, hi there. We're members of this ever expansive confederation of planets. You've been in the middle of our space for centuries We've been around. Um, Yeah, so there's nowhere really left for you to explore (laughs) because we already explored it all. Here's the maps. And we're just like, "Ah." hey, join our federation. Join our federation. (laughs) And did we mention join our federation? (laughs) Right. (laughs) Right, yeah. And it's like, uh, no, we kind of just came out here to kind of do our own thing. Oh, yeah, you, you can do that. But just mind you, like, pretty much everybody out here is part of our thing. So. Yeah, <laughs> deal with it. That is a good point, which I want to get into. But I do kind of like the um, what Coley said here, and it's it's a response to the pack lids. They mm-hmm. still warp travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the other thing a lot of people I don't think understand is, um, and I'm going to plug in Star Trek Discovery season two and the the original series. The one thing about the original series is, um, we learned of the Cold War, right? And we, but we also learned from Discovery that 200 years before the Federation, and I guess this kind of goes into Axon a little bit, a little too. I'm pulling a little bit from their history, but it's also backed up in the timeline history. 
that the Klingons were out um, conquering slash exploring the universe way before the Federation was ever conceived. Yes, Kayla, it's pretty. Um, so all the you have all these races that maybe like the Packlid or maybe some of the other races that are out there, you know, that have already had these contacts. And, you know, the Federation is doing their best, you know, in the beginning, in the early days, probably to get them aboard the Federation. But like you were saying, you know, by the time you get to next generation, it's like, oh, yeah, like um, Russell was saying here. We pretty much already explored all this area. Sorry, your real your real choices are just to go out there and discover for yourself or join our federation, right? It's literally what it is. <laughs> but of course, we don't see any of that. But we do get a we do get a glimpse from Star Trek Picard. Like there are other cities and cultures, even in season three, uh, which I don't want to go into spoilers on that. But you see that there might be other civilizations doing their own thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the earlier TV series, um, we never saw that. So who knows? Maybe the Packlids are doing their own thing. Maybe they do have other races like the Com the Camerity. Well, I can't. How do you pronounce that name again? The Kimtarans. Uh, which one? This week's uh, this week's villain. Oh, Katarians. 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 Or no, yeah, Katarians. The only time they've been mentioned is in this episode, and then. Also, the father of Naomi Wildman was the mm -hmm. same race. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So, you got these. Um, yes, Kaylee. Trying to finish my train of thought. Go ahead. Oh, you can do it. <laughs> she still got her housekeeping over there. Uh, it looks like her green screen's failing to me. No, but see, so you, you have these um, races, and it's in. Sorry, Kaylee. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> We're talking about Naomi Wildman's father, and I know that that was a, that was a side tangent. No, but um, okay, Bart. You know, let's just move forward. So overall, though, I didn't mind the episode. Kind of yeah. like Russell said, it is a little cringeworthy at times. And I think what really makes it cringeworthy, and especially on the replay factor, is the fact that um, there's a lot more scratching your head in questions than actual any answers or any gratification from the episodes like i didn't feel like we accomplished anything as far as being a star trek fan star trek's known for a few things right telling a story and sending a message i didn't feel like there's no message to be sent in this episode yeah besides the fact that yeah, there wasn't really yeah a message it wasn't a lesson like usually you get with star trek which is episodes. a missed opportunity and i think it's a missed opportunity because they could have easily kind of tied this into drugs and like how they're bad for you and how you can be manipulated or how you can be persuaded to do things. Hey, look at that. We're talking about manipulating situations. Wow. <laughs> Great <laughs> transcript. That's amazing. Talking about that, you so know not professional, dear. Right. I wouldn't go professional. Yes. I, I did that on purpose. You want something? Quickly, Kaylee, because you interrupted me again. You can you can actually ban people in the chat from just the chat. Oh. Like in here. How about we talk about after after yeah. here? Okay. Thank you. So now you know we talk about manipulating a people and um this episode actually was a good example of that. So what they did on Ryza, and I thought that was a missed opportunity. It could have been a great story to tell or a subplot story that you know that because we brought up the question one of you guys brought up the question, I forgot which one now, but you know, why was it just a cadet that notices? this? Why didn't the doctor notice this? Yeah, that's what I brought up. Yeah. It was, it was Jenny brought up, yeah. It kinda point they kinda point out that like the that Dr. Crusher notices it, but it's just too late. By the time she's got an an, eye, an impression of it, she's gotten forced to use the the stupid device, and yeah, she's done. Because she she had voice. She's like, God, everybody's doing this game. There must be something wrong with it. And then she starts investigating the device. And then when so somebody figured that out, like Riker was there, I guess, with the game and got her. Yeah, it's it's very invasion of the body snatchers in that fact of like anytime anything was even remotely catching on to them. Oh, they're playing the game now. Except for they didn't well, tell us that. They just no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. It's just go ahead, go ahead. Russell. Start. No, no, you're good. Go ahead. I was no, gonna no. say. <laughs> go okay, ahead. go, babe. Go, Scott. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, you know, Riker kept trying to get Jordy to play the game. How exactly would that work with Jordy? Right, because you think he's gonna have eyes thing. to. 
And I'm not so trying to go. Does he take the phaser off for the visor off first? That's a phaser. <laughs> so uh, take the, does he take the visor off first and then? Because he still has eyeballs technically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but no visual input. Yeah. The inputs from the sides from the actual visor device. Like he, ha his eyes are completely. So do they put it like the lasers into like the points of his temples? I don't know. I they never showed the him. It, so. They never. Yeah, they I'm, never showed him in it. I'm, I'm just curious. think that. I'm just curious because Riker kept trying throughout the episode. Hey, I got something to show you. I got something to show you. And you would think Jordy would be like, okay, what is this? But Jordy yeah. was so preoccupied with the uh, scientists that, I mean, that yeah. was kind of like side parts, part C or whatever, mm -hmm. was the yeah, scientist on the fun. ship. True that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> he was born blind. Okay. I get that, that he was, where is that? Come on, pick it. He was born blind. Um, Discovery, kind of, I don't know if it's a continuity error issue or if maybe they're two different situations, but we do know that Deppner, I think that's how you pronounce your name? Yeah. In Discovery, um, has an artificial eye. I think it's a little more than an artificial eye on her case. Oh, they don't. So? They don't explain it, but... I think part of the reason I think she's cybernetic and I think they kind of went into it a little bit more in lower decks with it, but I think she got like during the battle of the binary stars, I think she got majorly jacked up mm -hmm. like probably major brain damage and such. So I think it's probably more like a Borg implant. It's like the entire right, that too. side of her brain is probably mm -hmm. been replaced. Cause then you have, um, what was it? Artem, mm -hmm. Lieutenant Artem or whatever her name was. Oh, where her entire body was replaced. It was yeah. just her brain and her brain stem. Yeah. Like, that was all that was left of her was her brain. <laughs> they kind of did that in the episode in DS9, though. They did uh, where they replaced um, Bedek Baral with a robotic yeah. brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And... Yeah, it's they kind of show it like this in Deep Space Nine. It's very, very rudimentary, but then in Discovery, you see like mm -hmm. these are advanced prosthesis that they're using and no issues. Like yeah. to the point that the in Deep Space Nine, when they're showing the Elasian, who's like using I don't know, like basically a quite, almost hydraulic setup to walk. Yeah, the I'm braces. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like they sh based on what they show in Discovery, they should have had something way more advanced. Mm -hmm. Unless it's maybe Bajoran technology that they're using. Except she was a Federation it. officer. She was a Federation science officer. Good point. Well, because I was thinking the Vedic, you know, you could possibly explain that. Oh, well, it's a Bajoran tech. And... No. Well, the, with a, that, one, that one is, it's it's Bashir made it up. Yeah. So. Oh, Bashir made that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But even then, that makes, that gives more credence to it. Because, I mean, you have one person working on it, whereas... If you had an entire group of scientists working on something for, you know, a couple hundred years, it'd be far more advanced. Yeah. Assuming they went further with that technology. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, so put the fiat. Oh, I'm going to ignore that. So basically here, let me get back to my banners. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the manipulating of the situations is, um, is I think that was a missed opportunity getting back onto topic here of, of the whole entire episode that I think could have been a great sub story arc. It could have gave a great story and it could have been a great star Trek story. If they would have just shown them a little more, maybe they still could, in my opinion, I think they could have still had told a, you know, will we and, and um, Ashley Judd's story and just had a little more focus. Right. I felt like, I don't know, maybe it's just because they were trying to include too much of the senior staff. And it just fell out of place and completely just strange. <laughs> it's like you have this whole story and then like, oh, this is probably like a good 30 minute par here. But oh, wait a second, we haven't added Picard. We haven't added Riker. We haven't added Data. <laughs> Hell, might as well throw Beverly in there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, let's get the chief yeah. in here. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, look, let's get the chief in here. Call him meanly. We're paying this guy a lot of money. We might as well get him well, on camera. Which there's a issue with him. They call him chief. But if you look at his rank, he's a lieutenant. Oh, there's a lot of issues with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah his rank jumps around quicker than nothing. Oh, yeah. I think, I think what it is is people have mentioned like ideas that the hollow pips, 
meant something towards like petty officer or warrant officer and then his lieutenant rank was a senior warrant officer or a senior enlisted officer but like what it comes down to is just the unif they he was there but the uniform department didn't really have an idea as far as whether or not he was going to stay on for very long so it wasn't until i think data's day when they actually started building his character up for Deep Space Nine, that they actually gave him a specific set rank and they held to it. Because mm -hmm. he's an ensign in the first season, and then you see him later with a hollow pip, and then you see him later with a lieutenant rank, and then you see him mm -hmm. back with an ensign rank, and it just jumps around so much. It's, it's crazy. But yeah. poor Harry Kim, he can't even jump rank at all. Yeah, he can't do nothing. <laughs> you know, I heard that he makes a night crew call him captain. <laughs> Dude, I, I will say that. <laughs> Garrett Wang, Wong, he, he, Wong. or Garrett Wong, he he had to piss somebody off badly because he is the only Star Trek actor to request to direct an episode mm -hmm. and be denied, hmm. be told no. Most of the time, they would ask an actor mm -hmm. or an actress to direct. They never asked him. He asked for an opportunity, and they just said no flat out no so i think he just either one nobody liked him in the production staff or he really pissed somebody off some at some point not sure what i know jenny you still watching delta flyers they ever talk about any things i know that him I'm, and... I'm so behind on delta flyers right now so <laughs> really behind on, i want to i'm trying to catch up on one but i just i'm really behind right now Okay. I know that at a con at a convention I was at years ago when Enterprise was still on. Yeah, yeah. that was true, too. The writers mm -hmm. did not like his character at all. Um, but when I was at the convention, somebody asked about that. Somebody had mentioned that they had heard that he had asked to, to direct an episode of Enterprise and was declined. Mm -hmm. And he confirmed that. And... The f from what I remember seeing is R Robbie Duncan McNeil was right next to him, just kind of looked at him when the question was asked and kind of had this like kind of like smile and almost defeatist look on his face. Mm -hmm. Like he, he knew there's something bad <laughs> going on there. And he's just like, uh, that's no bad. That's no good. And then, yeah, he Garrett answers it and he's like, yes, that is true. It is what it is, but, you know, I asked, and they didn't have a position open for me. He kind of played it off a little bit, but I really do think that someone kind of had it out for him on the <laughs> in the, the higher-up staff. It's probably Braga. That Maybe. guy was kind of a... Yeah. But, you know, I think Marina said it best. Um, the one question they hate being asked at um, conventions or any kind of gatherings is... What did you think of so and so, or, or what were your feelings on this? And she said it best, saying that um, do you not ask us questions like that because we're never going to answer them. Basically, is what she, you know, she, she's honest, yeah. brutally honest. Yeah, and and I'm pretty sure he wants to talk about it more, but he can't because <laughs> you're being paid by the uh, person to come out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In this case, Creation Entertainment, and then plus, you know, you're a Star Trek actor, and you. <laughs> And well, I bet you they have all kinds of things that they have to sign. Oh, yeah. And I'm hoping you get a chance, Jay, on the cruise 2022. Mm -hmm. If he's going to be on there, that he does this Forever Ensign show again. It was so funny. It's him That's making awesome. fun of the, the fact that, you know, he stayed Forever Ensign and kind of along the stories that went along with it. Well, it depends. Because if you read the books, the, the follow-up book, speaking of that, uh, okay, I want to go on a side tangent, but then I want to go back into it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm hoping with Star Trek Prodigy that um, Janeway, because it sounds like it's going to be a prequel to Janeway becoming an admiral from First Contact. So it sounds like it's you know between time Voyager got back and the time that um, you know the Borg came and tried to invade Starfleet again for the second time. Um, so I don't know if she's getting Voyager, if she's training at the academy. We really, we really don't know much about that cartoon that's coming out. I'm kind of hoping that maybe they'll talk about Voyager. Maybe, you know, there might be some crossover work down the road. You know, kind of like they do Picard. Maybe not everybody right away, but get your 7 and 9s or get your Chakotes or 
your Harry Kims and find out if he's still an ensign in Prodigy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> watch, he'll be like, years. watch, he'll be like a lieutenant junior grade. After seven years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I actually have to jump off. My daughter is trying to play play games with her math homework again. Trying to do all it right. all wrong so somebody does it for her. So she's going right. to get a rude awakening. So, <laughs> All right, Russell. Thank you for joining right. us today. We really yeah, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, get with me later on for um, helping you guys out with stuff. That's okay. no problem. Just get a hold of me. I'm pretty much available most of the time. I don't always reply immediately, but I will reply. All right. All right. Thank okay. you. All right. Thank Talk you. Talk to you all. Live long and prosper. Live long Same and prosper. Same to you. Bye. <laughs> all right. We're, I know, we're there, there we go. It. Oh, we could. Okay, so I didn't know that, but you actually can click and drag. Oh, really? Yeah, I just oh. click and drag us. Wait, what? Click on your picture and drag. Move. Look. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Anyway. I'm sorry, I, I had to step out there for a minute, guys. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. No, it's okay. We were still talking about manipulating. We were just finishing up manipulating situations. I think. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um,. Either we can talk about extra life, or let's talk about extra life, and then we'll go into to the silly topic. <laughs> so, Speaking what of. would you guys like to tell me of extra life? What are we looking at here? Okay, so extra life is a charity event where you raise hmm. money for uh, the Children Medical Network. One hundred percent of the money that you raise. Mm -hmm. goes straight to whatever hospital the person who's donating. So all the money that we have will go to the Cook's Children Hospital in Fort Worth. It's the hospital we have chosen. The person who I'm part of MEPA Solutions, which is a board gaming group, charity type group. Uh -huh. And he, we picked that hospital because his um, sister went to the hospital and did all the treatments for her cancer before she passed away as a young child. Yeah. So now we donate money to help the children's hospital. Um, I have a screen I can share with y'all. I was going to ask you if you could share because I tried bringing it up while you were talking and it sent me to a Google page. There we go. Huh. So this is, uh, this is my page. This okay. is my fifth year doing it. I've been doing it for five years now. Um, I have a small goal because I, um, usually I'm a lot better at it, but this year is kind of crazy and I didn't know if I want to try to promote this because people, times are, sh you know, money short and everything. Um, so basically what we do is this coming Saturday, we played video games and board games for 24 hours to raise money. Kind of like one of those, like where you run a match -a thons or run -a -thons yeah. where you raise money. But basically, we just we try to get the word out there to raise money. Uh, like I said, it, it supports the Children Medical Network. Um, and yeah, it's just really great to uh, to donate and know that 100% of the money actually goes to the charity. Because a lot of charities, I even don't know this, but you really, when you donate to a charity, you got to look into it because you could be just paying the CEO. Yeah. And not actually research. Uh -huh. So I strongly suggest do your research on events, charities you want to donate to. I'm a huge charity person. I do Extra Life. I've gone to Ron McDonald's and cosplayed and interacted with kids at Ron McDonald House. That's fine. Um, so it gives you some information here. So, so this Saturday, we're doing all virtual. So we will be doing everything online, playing video games, uh, live streaming it, twitching it to raise money. Okay. So if you guys like to donate, um, I can send out the link to my I page. I already oh. have. I think we should send it on uh, the fleet page too. Yeah, yep. I'll, I'll do a fleet page one too. In case anybody's asking, our sciences division is our charity and community service work group, so... And you can be anonymous. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, here's one from being, you know, so that you just, you know, this is my personal page, so it's a little different, yeah. but it will show you donations, and you can be like somebody did donate to me, or well, it's me, but I nominate, you know, and so. 
Yeah, in the, I just want to talk about Extra Life there. And, awesome. and the cool, cool thing, too, about Extra Life, is I, as you can tell, I've done it, too, is it starts January 1st and goes all the way through the end of the year. Just because there's one day that's 24 hours, you don't have to do it all in a 24-hour mm -hmm. setting. Right. Um, the fleet, a long, long time ago, we used to have division heads. And the reason why we do not offer division head positions anymore is because it led to a nasty split in the fleet many years ago. Granted, all those players who were part of that whole process are not really here anymore, but as a, we would have to talk about it at the CO, I mean, at the CO command level. But I can guarantee you there's a few of us like myself, Michael, Jenny's there, Scott probably remembers it too, mm -hmm. where it just, it seemed like people started caring more about their titles than actually the positions that they were helping. But we could definitely talk about it if you guys are seriously interested in wanting to bring back some coordinators. But that's something I'd prefer to talk about off the air. But I am glad that you brought it up, and we can definitely discuss it. I'm always open to new ideas or bringing back ideas if it's in the best interest of the fleet. I mean, it would be nice to, have, to get the fleet more active as a community service and charity work. I mean... Myself, personally, I do a lot of volunteer work myself with the Boy Scouts of America. Jenny works with the, you know, with Extra Life here. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure Scott does things. He, he also does mm -hmm. Extra Life. I do um, Extra Life. Yeah. And then there are other people. I also believe Michael Malamai um, does work, too, on mm -hmm. the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, there are people who do things. It's just, it would be nice to get some of those people recognized. But of course, we don't know if you don't tell us, so it's kind of hard to recognize somebody. Yeah, I think maybe a better thing would be is like some awards, you know, like honor and award. We'd have to figure it out. I'd have to talk to Mike and our web team and figure out. Speaking of which, I need to talk to Mike and our web team and figure out how we can finish updating that thing. I just need to stop being lazy about it. <laughs> I just want to show you this is what in the five years, me personally, I personally right. raised a thousand two hundred eighteen dollars. That's awesome. In five years. Um, we usually, my MEPA solution, let's see if I can go to that page. Um, we usually raise like at least 10000 uh -huh. or so. Um, if not more, I think the first year, was it 2017? Yeah, it was 2017. I'm trying to it. find. We broke the record twice. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And they, they kept, it was, I think when it all of a sudden done, with something like twenty eight thousand dollars. There, my team. There as, as a team, okay. yeah. So here's okay. Here's me for solution. So this is our goal this year. I wonder if it shows you last year's goals. I wanted to show you last year. We did an amazing job last year, but mm -hmm. maybe it doesn't show us. But yeah, That's pretty I'm cool. part of this team. I don't know why it says join the team, but yeah, we're number three hundred seventy eight. But yeah, this is amazing. <coughs> Great charity. So right now we're at one thousand eight hundred fifty-four dollars, but Saturday we'll probably do a lot more. That's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right here. I can't believe we made a whole. Lot. I thought this was gonna be a very very short episode this week. For those like I said, I didn't want to go into politics, and we're not going to discuss that. But I have been following religiously, and I told Jenny that. I still want to do an episode, and she's like, "We well, fine, we can maybe even do a short one. But no, actually, just a nice long, not nice. I think this is, yeah. I think this is it's great to get your mind off it for a little while. And, mm -hmm. and it's a good distraction. Mm -hmm. so, and it's Star Trek and charity events, come on. There is Let's... one part of that episode we have not discussed yet. <laughs> <laughs> the best part ever. No, it's not the best part ever. I wish we could why is it? Did you change up the? <laughs> oh, I see how it is. yeah. Now I know what you're talking about. It took me a second at the beginning. <laughs> Let's try that oh, again. Just... Let me try that again. There we go. Now I caught on to your post and the, you know, when we were setting things oh. up. <laughs> Chocolate <laughs> rituals. I think they're silly. Okay. They are not silly. They, they are, are not silly. Silly. Nope. It's just like saying, you know, mm, coffee. I must drink. Five cups of coffee the first hour. Four cups of coffee the second hour. Holy cow. That, no, no. My point is it would be a ritual. It'd be and a pattern to be developed. You know, if, be a ritual. Jade, if Jade did that, he'd be Janeway. <laughs> I know, right? Or I mean, every... It's probably an OCD thing, then. 
Because OCD is rituals. You a lot of them are are rituals they have to do. So you hit it here for you hit it you heard it here, folks. Jenny says chocolate lovers are. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I never said that. I did that. not say that. Did yeah, not say I did that. not no. say that. I said <laughs> rituals that can be an OCD <laughs> order or problem. So all you chocolate lovers have OCD issues. <laughs> Once again, you know, Jay, Jay <laughs> when you come down here, I'm gonna punch you so hard. Well, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, an agreement signed where you can't physically hit me, touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have my lawyer. I'm gonna have my community lawyer, a community manager slash lawyer, review it. <laughs> hey, don't put me in uh, the middle of that. Uh, Scott will <laughs> really hit in for the you. middle of this. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask your wife to hit you for me then. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have some stranger come over and just whack you. You're be like, hey, hey, you, come here for a second. Yeah, you see that guy? I'm like, can you go smack him for me? <laughs> it's like I would do it myself, but I signed an agreement that I wouldn't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, I probably would. When we do that, <laughs> when we do that cooking show, I'll just accidentally drop a pan on your foot or something. Sorry, Jay. Sorry, it just it slipped out of my hand. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but I'm sorry. Chocolate rituals are silly. Okay. Bottom line. And for those who don't know what we're talking about, so remember I was saying earlier about um, Riker and Troy's the characters of Riker and Troy. They were flirting with each other, and she was talking about. Well, let me get my spoon. Uh, <sighs> no, not that. Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna pretend like I was being. And you take the spoon and you dip it around the outside of the chocolate. Then you slowly scoop it up. You know, it's like, really? It's like, just get a room, you two. <laughs> like, you know, that's what I was thinking. I was like, get a room. And then she's like, you scoop it up and then you enjoy the experience. I'm like, wow. My daughter's I mean, shut up. I love chocolate, but I'm not going to go and like, okay, for, I have to first scoop around. and No, I'm just going to scoop it up and enjoy it. Because chocolate is delicious, especially chocolate pudding. This is true, Brian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch How I Met Your Mother, Jenny? I've seen bits and pieces of it. Are you kidding? You need to go and watch it. The slap okay, I'll is, add it to the, the eight million other things awesome. I need to go watch. No, the slap. It's a, it's a series you can only watch once, all the way through. Barney Stimson character is hilarious. But once you watch it, it's like you don't really feel the desire to ever watch it again. <laughs> kind of like Friends in that aspect. You know, you watched it and you might watch No, a lot of people rewatch Friends a lot. Yeah, Kaylee, you, you realize I'm on the air, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then go away. No! <laughs> Kaylee should do a TikTok about that where I'm on the air with her and I'm telling her to go away. And she, anyways, <laughs> she does enough TikToks. I was just like, don't give her ideas. All right. Anyway, so don't. But the, how I met your mother. <laughs> one of the things is um that Marshall and Barney have this slap bet thing going on, right? So he's like given ten slaps, and he can he can um cash him in at any time for any reason. And um, so yeah, that's a whole joke behind it. Is um over the years of the show. At random times, he'd do a slap thing. And there was one time where he actually had a signed agreement where he would not slap Barney because his wife told him not to. <laughs> then, at, like, by the end of the episode, uh, Marshall's like, Man, please, please. And she's like, go ahead. And he's like, yes. And it's, bam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's slaps giving. It's slaps giving. That's what it's actually called. It's slaps, slaps giving. giving. <laughs> slaps giving. And it's around Thanksgiving time. But it can be, but you can use it at any time during the year. I mean, you get ten of them. <laughs> I always uh, say I'm going to slap my friend Daff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's Daff. He deserves it. That's true. Coley says, you... "I love rewatching." I hope he means how he met your mother, not friends. <laughs> or maybe both, right, Ribs? And Brian says, "Do not sign it, Jenny." No, I'm talking about you. <laughs> yeah, he's telling <laughs> no. He's telling you don't sign the paper. Oh, I won't sign it. I'm going to slap you. No, see, I'm kind of agreeing with Brett here. Marshmallow candy. <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch him, Al. That could be fun. <laughs> wow. No, guys. Chocolate is just silly. 
Okay, we're gonna get back Chocolate on topic. Chocolate is here. delicious. It's delicious. And do you have any rituals that you do, Jenny? Not with chocolate. No, I just eat it because it's delicious. Like for me, my ritual is every morning I get a cup of coffee. Every morning. Well, like most people do. Well, like it's not me. That's a rit- a ritual. I don't wait. have a morning ritual. For my wife, it's get the coffee pot started and then go take a shower. And then by the time she gets out of the shower, pour our cups and then we go out on the road and drive to work. For two more days. Two days? Two more days. Then mom starts a new job. And then it'll get really interesting. We'll have to figure out the new ritual. So we're going to have to change our ritual up. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah. But see, a coffee ritual is an acceptable thing. Chocolate. Ugh. Mm. What is it about chocolate that you like? I'm just curious. It's just good. I don't know. It just tastes really good. It's, it's uh, chocolate. It's, it's chocolate. <laughs> it's It's delicious. By that argument, I could say coffee's really good. And it's kind of fair with you. I think coffee's bitter. And that's just me. Hmm. <laughs> okay. And you can put chocolate in coffee. My uh my GM Jenny, puts can hot you slap Scott. Can you slap Scott for me? Uh, uh yeah. You see he's smiling. I think he might like that. <laughs> Kaylee, can you smack no. Scott? <laughs> Metal water bottle. No. Why not? What is your obsession with metal water bottles? And throwing. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously, this girl has some issues. I think she's uh, a young. Well, she is your daughter. (laughs) But you know, she's also my wife's daughter. This is true. Yeah, I get my crazy from you. Oh, she said she gets her crazy from me. Wow, Kaylee. You you should be watching Kaylee. It it is time to. it is Christmas time. You better watch out. Santa's listening to you. Hey, what's wrong with what? Kayla, we're not talking about politics tonight. I said watching. That's what I'm saying. We're not talking about politics tonight. Kayla, you should be careful. You know, Christmas is coming around the corner. You know, that's true. It, it is gift time, you know. And Coley might have said something about gifts. I don't know. <laughs> Jenny still hasn't read it yet. I'm ignoring it. Okay. Brian says, hey, he make it fleet admiral. How did he? I'm not a fleet admiral. I'm only a vice admiral. But I am the fleet commanding officer. I'm not a fleet admiral, though. This guy down here is our only fleet admiral. (laughs) Self-promoted fleet admiral. He promoted himself. We don't Mm -hmm. recognize it, but he still still wears it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. And people I don't call wear... him Admiral, too. That's the weird thing. <laughs> that came from a truck radio DJ years ago because mm-hmm. I was joking with him, and it's stuck ever since. Yeah, fleet Admiral Caval. But any uh-huh. people at work call you Admiral. I know. <laughs> that's the crazy that, thing. That's because I was telling the a convention story where, you know, I was in my fleet Admiral uniform. Somebody held up in a door just tell him, you know, some people do role play at conventions, others don't. Mm-hmm. And then he started that, so... Actually, one of my coworkers, <laughs> my graveyard guy, calls me Admiral all the time. He's more taking a stab at me, like, "Okay, Admiral." I'm like, "You call me K." <laughs> like, what do we say, Admiral? <laughs> like, shut up, Coley. So you play Among Us now? <laughs> Who does? <laughs> <laughs> you see the comment, see? imposter. <laughs> see, Coley knows. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Well, Coley, you know Coley from Trek Radio. Coley, yeah. you're you're wrong. It's actually Fleet Admiral Scott Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wonder if I could change this right now. Of course you can. <laughs> I of course you can. Of course you can. Yeah, full permissions. I know, he, I'm not gonna do it. He doesn't like that uh, his girlfriend outranks him. Oh. I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did remember. <laughs> I do remember uh, not giving you a choice on that, mm-hmm. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> yeah. It actually comes. So for those who don't know, the uh, when it comes to fleet elections, the only rank that the fleet actually recognizes up to is captain. All of our admiral positions, because of the previously mentioned um, uh, fleet split from many, many years ago, we're talking many years ago, uh, and 
an amend an amended rule came out saying that only ad the only admirals we could have in the fleet are people who are elected into those positions. And at the end of their term, they're supposed to step back down to captain. Uh, per the policy, but it doesn't mean that you can't wear fleet admirals on your uniform or cosplay as. Yeah, an we're not gonna go yell at you and get yeah. to whip out and whip you because I mean, you're not wearing the rank that you're supposed to be in. No, I don't yeah. wear it on my Fleet 31 uniform. I do it on my other cosplay uniforms, but that's yeah. it. So, because of that, like I said, you know, we just, we don't recognize it because of the problems we've had in the past with power and position and people caring more about the rank than actually caring about the duties and responsibilities. So, that's the whole reason why we came with that. And right now, the reason why I'm an advice admiral, not a fleet admiral, is because of our numbers. We have about 19 chapters currently. During this COVID times, we're hoping that after COVID's over, that we can expand on that and start going to conventions and promoting more community events. Right now, you know, Jenny has a great idea here with the um, extra life, and that's something you can do virtually to help do charities. And there's probably mm -hmm. other avenues we could be looking at, and maybe we can look at Brett about trying to get a coordinator, or somebody, maybe not in an admiralty style position, but maybe a coordinator at large. You know, non fleet. Uh, I don't know. We'd have to. We'd have to really figure it out because there, there should, there, there should be more we can do. Because for me, like the rest of my scouting stuffs are done for the rest of this year. Besides going to regular meetings, like, um, because one of the things I do is I love to help and work with the Order of the Arrow, and their whole primary focus is community work. Like, um, our induction weekends that we had, we were doing um service. We were cleaning up trails and um, laying out new bark dust so one weekend, removing evasive species. So, I mean, there's things that we do, you know. The community service work is one thing I really like to promote, and I hope the fleet can do more of it. I know that we've done a lot of it in the past. Especially but... with the holidays coming up, and a lot of people are going to be probably a little more limited in what they can do because a lot of people are not working still or they're working from home, so they're not making as money that you would have done if they worked at the business, you know. Well, so. How many knitters do we have? Because that's another easy one. You can make little baby nip caps and mm -hmm. you can make a whole box of them and then you can just donate them to the, your local hospital. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, a lot of people are at home. Time. Yeah. Start, start doing the cleanouts, you know, clean out that closet and go donate all that uh, clothes to a shelter. Yeah. It's a great thing you can do. Coley, thank you for watching tonight. We really appreciate you you joining us. Yeah, thank you, Coley. Yeah, so. But, uh, let's see here. Going back on topic here. <laughs> the silliness of... Oh, somebody already changed this. Have you joined <laughs> our Discord server and followed us on Twitter? <laughs> well, because we're talking what? about if you have any suggestions. I was like, well, oh, might yeah. as well put out, you know. Yeah. If you have any suggestions of things we should look into about charity work or anything like that, hit us up. Yeah. We have many different avenues of you can reach us at now. Mm -hmm. And Jay needs to get better about going on to Twitter. I don't. I that, I leave that to Scott. He can do all that Twitter yeah. stuff. Oh wait, wait a second. So you joined me. You you joined on the picking on me part. I didn't pick wow. on you for that. Uh -huh. I was saying, oh, I see somebody at it logged into the Twitter account. It's generally me. It, it <laughs> and that's fine. No, we should get better about it, Jenny. We what are we going to do with it? That's what we need to figure out. That and we also need to um, take advantage of our Zoom more, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I really want to do another community day event before Thanksgiving, if possible. Yeah, we just got to find a day, which is going to be interesting with my new work schedule. Yeah, my wife's new work schedule, trying to figure out a day, too. Because Wednesday, she gets off 11, so... <laughs> but we get done way before 11 o'clock at night. For you, I, yeah. Yeah. So I'd have to leave by 10, and we get done before that, so it shouldn't be an issue for me. Anyway, so I think we hit all the topics for the night, guys. Uh, no, we didn't. There's some tangents. We have tangents? Uh huh. Come on, I was trying to. I thought we already did our tangents. No, Jenny yeah. wanted to tell a couple of stories. No, I don't have to. I can tell your stories. <laughs> tell your stories. I'm fine. I think Jay wants to go back to watching uh, the news or hang with his wife. No, she's sleeping. Oh, that's right. And so until Thursday, she has to be at her old job. 
and then she'll be doing two days of day and three swings at a new site. It's going to be fun. We'll get used to it. I mean, she'll get used to it. And But I, what I really want her to do is spend the next year rebuilding up her her status and then get promoted. If she becomes a supervisor like me, then she'll have a Monday through Friday job. She'll have a small team that she can lead in. We'll have to deal with bosses. She'll be the boss. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not, that's not true. I do have a boss. Okay. Yeah, but... As long as yeah. I'm doing what I need to do, he doesn't care what I do. He doesn't care how I supervise the team as long as I'm following the policies and I'm keeping them updated. You know, but my my approach to him is if every time he calls me, what I'd like to tell him is, yeah, we're doing great. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, don't worry about us. We're awesome. You know, or I sometimes I'll call him like if I need to like modify schedules beyond 10 hours or stuff like that. But most of the time I, I'm given full control over my team. The only thing I don't do is I don't approve um, pay raises and I don't approve um, time off vacation requests. I have to submit those forward because then it requires us to, it goes to HR and all that stuff. You know, the boring side of admin. <laughs> Things that managers actually do, not supervisors. So mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so that's all I had. I mean, you don't want to talk about your boss after all? We can. I just, did, I thought you wanted to finish up, so. Well, I, on. let's be honest. Okay, I'm not going to really get into details tonight, but I'm going to say that it's not going to be resolved tonight. So the only thing I'm going to do if I do listen to the news is listen to a bunch of experts do this. <laughs> like I'm you've been curious. doing all day. Yeah. Well, I will say this without going too deep into this. I started getting annoyed with CBS because I do have CBS All Access. And I saw all the shows when they did it live, right? They do. They would talk about one thing. They would talk about the next thing. They would talk about the next thing. Then they would have a live panel, and then they would go back to the first thing they did, and then the second. And so you kept watching the same things over and over again because they had nothing new to report. So I was like, this is annoying. Click off for a little bit. <laughs> you know, and then go over to Google, and then try to find another one, and try to find something new, and come back later. And it's like, I, I should have just watched Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> oh, speaking of... You know what comes out tonight? Yes, Discovery. I do. <laughs> and hey, it's it coming out, out early. early. Does it, it come comes out early? early? Like what time? Uh, it came out like one one ish my time. One your time would be eleven mine. Okay. Yeah. We're hinting at a pop mm -hmm. top drive for Ronald McDonald House. Hint hint. You should definitely do that, Brian. Hey Brian, you should definitely go on the cruise. Cruise. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Speaking of which, on the cruise. our our cruise chat has blown up. Yeah, while we're I, on that. this. I think we are all ignoring it because we're doing our thing. But so, mm -hmm. are we gonna do it Thursday? I don't know. Well, we're talked off know. air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk about off air. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were hanging up. That's fine. I was very too, but if he has something to say, it's no, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Well, on behalf of me and my matching headset partner, Jenny. <laughs> Luke, we, we what, what didn't even I? plan it. It just happened that way. Okay? Yeah, it did. It did. <laughs> it did. No, we actually discovered that we both have the exact same headset. My old headset well, I, broke, I, and so I bought a new one. And Scott told me to get this one. Yeah, And I had a, I had the chair to match, but something happened with the bottom of it. So went up for the new one. Oh. So... With that said, <laughs> live long and prosper, everybody. <laughs> Have a great night.